Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Crusader Kings 2. Last we left off, we've been biding our time to go attack the Umyads eventually. Uh-oh. I was worried that I... But we have some fears about the Umyads because we barely have any troops. Oh, we have... Wait, hold on. That's more troops than we had before, actually. Uh, we have plans, and those plans are involving me taking Galicia by, by, uh, why, why, okay, hold on. I can't do it right now. It might be because his regency's not up. Let's unpause the game. Now he's got a regent, see, and it's his heir. Now is the time, only time we can, we have to do it now. But we can't because we have a truce for seven years. And he's probably going to die. So we might lose our op opportunity to claim the kingdom. Unless someone else goes for it. But I kind of doubt it. But it, there are three sons. They might fight over it. Who knows? Um, but we will be trying to do that if the option is still available. Um, if not, then we'll just have to attack them the old-fashioned way. Uh, I'm sure he's not a heretic. My ch court chaplain's probably a little ticked off at me. Actually, he's not. He's not. He's fine. Uh, we got good, uh, counselors, actually. Our council members are good. I like them. If only this could become Catholic, it'd be perfect. Is this the guy of... N yeah. <laughs> Alright then. Um, man. This is our grandson. This is our, our future King of Scotland who had this child. So this is a great-grandson. We are old enough to have great-grandchildren now. Apparently. Hmm. We've got another grandson who is one of the grandsons of the uh, son that we don't really care about. Uh, so we're going to educate this kid to become a martial character. Or actually, we'll train him with this guy. Oh, no, no, no. I, so what I basically do uh, when I'm training is I click on a sc skill set that I want, but then I look at their uh, their uh, education, and that's usually who I go with. So, like, my daughter is, like, the only brilliant strategist, so she gets all the children and teaches all of them all the things. Uh, excellent news, more money, that's always good. Oh, that's the other thing we could do. If we want to fight the Umyads, we could just hire up a bunch of mercenaries. However, the amount of mercenaries we would need in order to fight the Umyads is substantial. Um, this guy has negative 223 ducats? Really? That is impressive. Can we declare war against... Nope. Uh, let's see. I mean, we could do a bunch of holy wars... We also have this, uh, valid, this du jour, uh, claim that we can, po uh, have. Do they have any allies that are really bit dangerous? Nope. It looks like none. Um. Hmm. I don't know what to do. Uh, let's see. I know I can figure this out. <laughs> Let's just let the game play. Uh, I have a granddaughter who came of age. This is a granddaughter of my daughter. Uh, we will just marry her off to someone. Uh, it doesn't really matter who. This guy. Yep, fine. <laughs> just fine. I don't care. Um, you can hold a grand tournament, but that seems kind of pointless. That's no good. Uh, how many troops can we pull out over here? Actually, yeah, do that instead. Looks like we have captured someone. 
That is fantastic. We have a prisoner. We could ransom him for 26 gold. That's pretty good. I bet they feel silly now coming over to raid my stuff and losing 26 gold because I captured someone. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll do that. That's fine. Who is this guy? He's just a count in uh, Sousa. Okay. Very good. Um, who the heck are you? Uh, I don't think we can kill this guy. I think I think we're gonna have a war on our hands. So we're just gonna sit back and wait for that to happen. Uh, can we get any? Nope, not yet. We're really close though. Oh, lose kind, man! I just I'm sucking it up. This character's just losing everything. I've got eight diplomacy now. Holy crap. Man, I don't know. I'm thinking of changing my, uh... My, uh... What, is it, what are these called? Focus? Yeah. To carousing. Just, uh... Uh, well, oh, we'll only do that if we're having issues with the vassals. The vassals really love us because uh, we have pretty good relations. Like, we've been ruling for so long. Like, this is our lowest opinion vassal. And it's because he's brave, mostly. And we're craven because of crap. Um, no, it's fine. We're fine. He's an, oh, he's an organizer. Oh, this guy's getting better and better. Hmm. Um. I've been called into a war. A war that I really don't want to. Oh, it's against Lotharina, not Burgundy. Okay, we can do this. Uh, we don't want to call anyone in. What is this crap? Alright, whatever. This war's happening, apparently. Is it a war for Lotharingia? I, I don't even know. There's your over Macon. Oh, it's this. This stuff over here. We also went on a hunt, if you missed that. Oh, we lost. Oh, hold on. We lost someone. God damn it, now we're left with crappy friggin' people. They all suck. Bunch of sucky suckers. That's what I have to say. Alright, put that guy in charge, whatever. Can you make this Catholic? I bet not. Our club-footed uh, grandson needs, needs training. I think he's gonna become a bishop. Because reasons. <laughs> Or maybe we'll we'll, we'll get it. we'll teach we'll have this guy teach him you know whatever our steward will teach him. Uh, someone died of pneumonia. It's, it's a good thing they weren't important. Oh boy, what is going on? Why are you falling in troops? Oh, he's at war with the Idrid Sultanate. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, so much for that. <laughs> that is one big revolt. <laughs> what is this for? It's a uh, holy war for Tlemkin. This? This is one province. Okay. Well, you know what? You can have it because you got 18,000 troops. I have nothing I can do about it. This is going to be the shortest war ever.
All my fault. They told me they fixed it. That's all I have to say. Why haven't I caught the the white stag yet? This is bull crap. Oh well. Oh well. Okay, okay, raiders. This did not work out for you. Well, that's a bigger number. Let's uh pull out these troops and uh yeah, we want our our amazing son to lead in the center cuz he's amazing. Uh, so you'll be gone in the 25th, so we'll wait till the 24th, and there it is. Pull those guys up, and then help out. There we go. That's a, that's a, that's a lot I killed. We didn't capture anyone this time, but that's fine. We murdered him. Uh, we still have a while till this guy attacks us, like another year. Um, hmm... How much prestige are we gaining? One and a half prestige per month? Okay. As long as it's positive, I really don't care how many sons I have. Of course, I'm not having any more sons with this woman. This is a beautiful old 68 old woman. She's very beautiful though. <laughs> in fact, in fact, my heir, who just had a daughter. Wait, no, hold on. This is my grandson. The grandson that will become King of Scotland just gave me another grand, a great granddaughter or grandchild. Um, uh, this is our grandson who is going to not be um, heir, but we do want him to be brave if at all possible. But he just lost Craven. Oh, uh, this is our grandson that will become. Oh, he begot slothful. Oh, he became diligent. Yes, okay. He's fine. For now. Uh, that isn't necessarily the kid that we want, but if he gets really good stats, hey, you know, if he, he can be ugly if he's got really good stats. Um, I prefer not ugly because that trait can transfer to other characters, but... Um, <laughs> yes! Kill the ugly child! <laughs> the ugly twin shall die! <laughs> that is a terrible thing to say. Why would you ever say that? Because it's funny. Oh, yeah, he wants education. The twins. The twins want education. Well, they're going to be trained uh, as uh, whatever. Um, I don't even care. Uh, ugly child number one. Uh, <laughs> if you're not going to become heir, you, be get, you get trained in martial. That's just what happens. Okay. Um, there we go. I got two grandsons that I'm training. I can't be bothered with any more than that. Really, I got the important ones taken care of. Oh, yes, finally! Catholicism has expanded! All right, so now we're going to improve relations with the Pope, uh, with our bishop, um, and then we're going to use our chancellor to fabricate claims over here. Cause, oh, why are we doing that? Because I'm expecting this guy to die, and then we're not going to be able to press the claim anyways but we're also not gonna be, uh, that was kind of useless oh well oh well that was pointless baron has changed hands there's a child baron apparently um how's your war going it's over you won congratulations oh no you didn't win you didn't did you win? Hold on. He did win. He just took over all of that. All of it? Really? I thought you were only going after Thlemkin. How did that happen? Was that the was that the revolt? Was the revolt to put you as king of uh Oh my god, that is that is insane. This is insane. This is absolute insanity. He has all this land. 
Oh my god, that is insane. I am freaking terrified now. Guys, I'm gonna be invaded and I'm gonna have nothing I can do about it. <laughs> Who are my allies again? Burgundy, Scotland. Scotland's useless. Fran West Francia. Okay, West Francia and Burgundy. With their powers combined, shouldn't I be able to handle pretty much anything? Oh, no, we got Burgundy Burgundian Revolt. So Burgundy is busy. Well then, hmm. These, these are the worst allies ever, by the way. They're always busy in something else. So they can never help you out. Um, I mean, I, don't, I just don't think West Francia or Burgundy are strong enough to be able to actually help me. Like, there's 9,000 troops there, and then I've got another 8,500. So that's like 17,500 troops. But he's got that pretty much covered. Whatever. Just just take care of it. Just take care of it. Oh, we got someone. Who do we get? Can we get a lot of money off of him? We can get 10 gold. I guess we'll take it. We have a lot of money. How many mercenaries could we hire? Oh, uh, let's see. Probably, really only two, because we probably want enough money to be able to afford having them for a lengthy period of time. You know what we really need is uh, Holy Orders. Once we get Holy Orders, that will be our uh, saving uh, grace. It will be very easy for us to um, get enough troops, I think, to uh, take on, maybe not easy, an easy war with the Umiads, but, uh, but uh, with allies, a very doable war. Um, so we might have to do that when it, the time comes. So, let's see. What do we want here? Well, nothing there. Alright. We should use this money to build more... Do we want to build more castles, or do we want to, uh... I don't think we do, actually. I think we just want to upgrade things. That costs a lot of money. We could do that. Hmm. Nothing really to build there. Oh, crap. Oh, let's actually upgrade this this building, these buildings. We'll upgrade the militia training ground here. Uh, we won't worry about these buildings over here. How much would it actually cost to upgrade here? 750 there. 656 there. We could build there, but probably not going to. Uh... All right, let's go. Come on, end your war. We won already. Jeez. There you go. Good job. Good job, you. You know how to war. We could expel the jur jury. Uh, because if we did that, then we could get rid of this penalty and then have two... Hmm... We could get this out of there so we don't owe 350 uh, ducats to the Jews anymore. And then when our son comes of age or takes over, he can then bring the Jews back in and then that will get rid of any penalty. Uh, so I'm thinking about doing it. Plus we'd get money. We'd gain 853 gold? Oh, hell yeah. Look at that money. Look how much money we have. Well, we're going to end the episode there because we have shit tons of money now. So we don't give a fuck. Uh, so, if you enjoyed the episode, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.